This is an Airhogs Titan and I've done a quick conversion to radio control. I have two engines on 10 amp speed controllers. These are 6 by 3 inch props and I got an aileron setup on the tail. There are no ailerons. And everything is just jury rigged on top of it, just to see how we go. And we're about to find out. Might be able to do a roll. Sorry, a looping. Full power. Oh, bugger. Lost my propeller. Yep. So I lost one of my 6x3 propellers trying to do a looping. The rubber bands simply came off. I don't have a spare one, but I do have two 8x3.8, so say 8x4 props. What could possibly go wrong? There's a bit of headwind here and just crossing it sideways, back and forth. <laughs> Almost standing still. Half throttle. So this is 30% reduced, thro uh, reduced throttle on the inboard motor at full rudder. Of course, there is no rudder, so my rudder stick is only governing the um, differential thrust. Takes getting used to, but can fly. And very quiet. So, this is not the best flying airplane by any stretch of the imagination, but it looks cool with the twin engine setup. And it certainly does fly, which is ah, oh, and the yellow ones on a tail. That was the first. I'm not entirely sure about that. I think traditional ailerons are the way to go. Even though the yellow ones here sit in the propeller wash, they just feel odd and not quite as responsive as I would like them to be. Although I will admit that you do get the hang of it after a while. It's kind of fun actually, learning something new. It's nice to fly a really well flying plane, but it's certainly a lot more challenge with something else. That full power. <laughs> it does pitch up. Looping, power off. Yes, yes, as soon as the um, airspeed stops, the elevons stop being very effective. So you really need half throttle at least to pot around. Say hello to the audience. So what do we think? It is worth cutting it open and bury all the um, receivers and batteries and whatnot to make it look nicer. I will ponder putting ailerons on it because this is not... It just flies odd. I'm not sure, not sure I like it. Um, 
engines are good, they're just the right size. And the um, temporary mounting actually works really well. That might not be so temporary after all. I just need some popsicle sticks to uh, protect the uh, foam. I need to glue in a stabilizer so it doesn't wobble around. I shoved this in just to stiffen up the sideways movement. Uh, doesn't seem to be any need for spars or tape, but a bit of tape is cheap, so that's probably a good idea. 